Hey guys, welcome back to Disc Respect Disc Golf. I know I haven't quite made this a series yet, but I've done a couple of videos where I've tried to go bogey free from the blue layout here at my home course, Four Palms in Jacksonville, Florida. This is gonna be attempt three at trying to go bogey free. Um, I think the first time I got stopped on hole six. Last time I took a triple on hole two, brutal, absolutely devastating. Today I'm gonna see how far I can go bogey free, see if I can get through all 18 holes in this track. Let's get into it. All right, gonna do two shots off the first. Gonna go arc and then wraith. Possible, I'll, I'll allow one channel mulligan like I did last time. Um, hole one's pretty far, a little bit uphill. Gonna go with the arc first. All right, just need to get a good shot. Heiser flipped this puppy up there. Mm, not enough flip. All right, player two, gonna go wraith. Same shot, a little bit wider. There it is. Just gotta glide a little bit. Sit. All right, birdie putt coming. Okay, easy birdie putt right here. Well, it's happened, birdie. <laughs> I did that the first episode of this as well where I was trying to go bogey free and just birdied four holes in a row. Okay, hole two, if you've seen this hole before, you know what it is. It's very long, it's probably 380 or 390. Tough part three. Tight line off the tee as well. Don't want to hit the big tree. Just got to get a lot of distance here. Make it easy for an up and down for the par. Oh man, that thing was flipping a lot actually, but uh, decent result there. Okay, you should be able to see the basket straight ahead on the screen there. This is tricky. I don't know backhand or forehand like what to do exactly. Probably should go something straighter. A little back in here, just go with my putting putters straight at it. <clears throat> okay, I'm gonna have to make a putt. That's fine though. Should be within 20 feet right there. Easy little clean up right here. Shouldn't be a problem. All right, through two holes. Six is my best so far. Gotta get to hole seven today, at least. All right, hole three, very long, very technical. Gonna go with the Enoch here. A bit of pine needles on the tee pad. Don't wanna do a stupid slip. Okay, here we go. Straight up the gut, hard par three. Bogey's easy to take here, so I just gotta hit the gap and really mash on it. That should be good enough for a par, just miss that tree. Yeah, easy up and down for the par there. Three holes survived. All right, I do have a birdie look actually, which first episode of this, my strategy to be aggressive really worked and uh, got me a lot of birdies, even though I don't need birdies, but it kept me bogey free for a while. Oh, go in. Oh, like a foot or two in front. Yeah, I'll tell you what, these gnats are out here today. They are not playing, but I'm not playing either. Serious business today, folks. All four here, 372, Glow Road Runner. Just gotta avoid going left. Should be an easy par. <clears throat> Flip, yep. Tracking, tracking, tracking. Sit down. All right. A little deep, but that's a putt. There's like no way I can make bogey from here, but I still wanna try to make the birdie putt. Maybe the only way to make bogey is to try to run the birdie putt really hard, miss it by a lot but it wouldn't be fun if I just laid up, so yeah, I'm gonna go for it. Okay, that stayed close. <laughs> so yeah, I was like a half, halfway committed putt right there, you know. All right, going grace on this hole. Missed that. Oh, that could be a birdie if it gets clean. Ooh, what a shot. Okay, I ended up in a great spot actually. This is the thing where bogeys might come into play because it's very tempting just to run it because like as a player, you just want to get birdies. You just naturally want to do that. You want to shoot well, you want to score well under par. The birdie's just looking at me in the face. I did get through the tree pretty cleanly. 
but it's all about not taking bogeys. So I'll give it a very soft run. It's player two, I'll run it for sure though. Still got it. Nice. Okay, looks like the soft runs to play. That's two under through five right there, bogey free. All right, hole six, this is the one that stopped me last time. See if I can make a correction. I think last time I threw popcorn. Now I'm gonna go Waymaker. A little bit more stable. Just wanna get through the gap. This hole is very short, it only plays 270 feet. Um, I really just gotta beat this first big thick tree that's on the left there. Um, even after I beat that, it's still kind of a tough scramble, but I've birdied this hole a lot and I've parted a lot. so. Absolutely in the cars. Oh my, now I got a birdie from Whites. Look at that, man. It's just a uh, nightmare situation. Got to get up and down. No options here. Basket is like straight and then a little bit to the left. This tree is like right in the way of so much stuff right now. So I either got to throw like some sort of like flex forehand or like a roller. Flick roller might be the play here. It's just kind of like a poke and hope and the video could well end on this hole if I don't execute this shot. So this is easily the most important shot so far. Really gotta do something special here. That, that shot from blue is just so hard. You go popcorn, flick roller. Get sneaky, it could give me a putt. Oh yes, come on. Okay, I, I've got to put safe par. I've got to put safe par. Let's go. All right, we're down, but we're not out yet. All right, if I can convert this putt, that would be a huge, huge scramble. Oh, this roller was just fantastic. Wow. Let's go, and we're still rolling. New record today. Made it through six holes. I know I said six before, but I guess it was officially through five holes. Hole six stopped me. This time, a amazing scramble keeps this train rolling. All right, we are now entering new territory for this challenge slash series. Hole seven here, not the easiest par. Gotta go forehand off the tee, get it moving left to right. Um, as long as I just don't hit any trees on this shot here, it should be okay. It is in the short position. So this one's only 264. It's not the very short, but it's the middle one, I guess, 264. Chain breaker off the tee. Really got to execute here. Get some distance. Oh, mama. Well, that was grip locked, and uh, I got to scramble again. Okay, well, I've got to hit... Uh, an awesome shot here, that's for sure. Oh, it's gonna be very tough. Gotta go down to a knee, I think, and do a forehand through this gap. It's a big gap, you can definitely hit it. It's not planning on not getting enough distance off the tee. Oh man, I gotta really hit this one clean. And uh, up and down here for par. Missed those trees. Oh, dang it. Go a little closer. Okay, it's gonna be something really not the best. Uh, if it just pushed past those trees, it would have been like a 20 foot putt. Okay, now this is pretty wild and pretty unfortunate. If you have a line straight at it, um, gosh, I mean, I would rather what I did in the last hole and have a tough scramble than an easy putt. I had an easier scramble, not have a tough putt. I'd rather have a tough scramble and do well on the easy putt. But this is makeable. I easily drain this. So I gotta focus here. I gotta advance to hole eight. Oh, it's gonna be the end of the video. Gosh dang it, man. I really thought I could get past this hole. The thing is, with this course, as soon as I get past hole seven here, because six and seven are like super wooded. As soon as I get past this, I can most likely go bogey free. So this is the toughest stretch. So really I just have to break through this part and not do anything stupid um, for the rest of the course. So that's gonna do it for the video guys. Unfortunately, didn't get 
the goal, but we made progress, got closer. Don't forget to like and subscribe, and we'll see you in the next one.